All right, so what's happening, y'all? So uh, today should be a pretty good day. At least I hope so. Um, you know, I sold the Honda yesterday. I don't have it anymore. As you can see, I'm in the Rebel. It's not mine though. I wish that I wish it was mine. But um, yeah. Today I'm going to uh. Oh shit! I got my finger all over the camera. But yeah, this truck is fucking nice as hell, man. I'm going to uh, going to be looking at something today. Um, it's Cycle City Hawaii's way of celebrating you. Now this is turn this volume down. I don't know. The Bluetooth in this truck has been kind of adding up. It's kind of weird. So, all right, man. So I'm back. Uh, the camera was giving me some issues along with the Bluetooth in the truck. The truck, I don't know. For some reason, it's been kind of acting it kind of finicky, man. It's like sometimes it cuts out on me. Sometimes. It just turns, it completely turns off and it's kind of weird. But I mean, hey, it's not my truck, so I'm not really complaining. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I only got the truck until this afternoon. But um, yeah, I'm heading to go take care of some personal business. You know what I'm saying? And uh, then I'm going to go look at look at this car. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I hope that I make a deal on this thing. Uh, I kind of just seen it pop up online today. So. Hopefully I can get there before anybody else gets there. The dealership opens at 10. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of like in a position where I can try and make this work. We're just gonna see if I can make it work or not. Uh, I got rid of the Honda yesterday, sold it back to the Honda dealership. Uh, I had to pay a, about four grand out of pocket just to clear that balance off. But, you know, um, yeah. So I officially don't have a car, which is cool. I'm not really tripping on it right now because I'm probably going to fly to the mainland here in a couple of days. You know, see my kids and bring them back to Hawaii, let them experience the culture here and stuff like that. Since I haven't seen them in a while, and now that I'm in the military, I have that that free range to do that now. So, yeah, uh, I'm gonna get this this day started. It's only 8:05 here in the morning. You know what I'm saying? So it's bright and early, and I, I got stuff I got to do. So, yeah. But on another note, for a rental, look at this truck, man. Look at this. You know what I'm saying? You got the red and black leather. I mean, it has a small touch screen, which is not a biggie. But I got to stop and get gas before I, I head that way. But you see, red and black leather on the doors and the seats. And like I said, this is a Rebel. It's a 5'7". I kind of want one, not going to lie, but not right now. Not right now. Uh, I gotta get my dream car first and then um go from there. But I'm gonna holler at y'all in a little bit. I get with y'all when I get to the dealership and we'll go from there. Here it is, here it is. I mean, it got some minor things on here, you know. It got some little paint defect here. The On the other passenger side of the door, it's kind of like, you know, how Dodge always has the issue with it peeling up right here. But all that shit is like small shit, honestly. I plan on getting a carbon fiber hood at some point, so I'm not really tripping. It comes with R triple R, R R's on here, yeah. So whoever had it before wasn't stupid. They knew to put good tires on here. I don't know what size the tires are though. Uh, they like 315s. Got 315, 
30 20s so yeah i mean they still got decent trade on them too um it needs a detail so gotta happen soon but hey man and we in there baby Ha! Huh. all right man so it's been a bit of a long day i'm not even gonna sit here and lie bro but it was worth it 100 percent worth it um so i secured on, on the hellcat 2018 uh destroyer gray charger hellcat uh, 37,000 miles on it. Um, not really sure if there's any mods done to the car. I didn't really go into details about all of that. Not really worried about it because I'm going to be doing my own mods to the car, uh, you know, for the channel, for my own personal sake, whatever. But the car is solid, man. Uh, the interior needs a little bit of, a little bit of love, which I had to show you guys. Uh, it's getting detailed right now. Well, it was getting detailed. The guy who, um, the people who are who are detailing it, they uh, they I guess they're like people with the dealership. I'm not really sure how they're doing it, but I'm not really worried about that. My main thing is just pretty much get in the car. That was my thing, get in the car. But the car is officially mine, and yeah, we're good. Um, dude, like y'all understand, man, how happy I am about this shit, man. Uh, right now, the dude's gonna meet me at Enterprise because I'm taking the, the rental back. So I'm trying to get there by four. As of right now, the GPS says I'll be there around like 345-ish. So I should be okay, as long as white traffic don't don't screw me over, you know what I mean? But it is what it is. I finally have my retirement gift. You know what I mean? That's that's the one thing I've been wanting for years. I finally had the opportunity to get it, I got it. And you know, I got lucky when I found this one, you know what I mean? So yeah, I'm just ready to get in this thing and fucking open this bitch up, you know what I'm saying? So. It's gonna be fun, man. This is gonna be fun. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I wanna cry, but I'm not gonna cry until I have this thing and I'm ripping on it, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm probably gonna cry like a little bitch and it's cool, I, I don't even care. Y'all can judge me later. But, I mean, your boy's gonna be happy, you know what I'm saying? I finally have my dream car and the color that I want. Um, yeah, there's like I said, there's some small, small minor things that I, I probably could have negotiated the price on, but I didn't. For the simple fact, it's a 2018 for sixty-five thousand dollars. I mean, you can't really argue that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't really argue like with that. And the things that need to be fixed or replaced or whatever. Like, so on the hood, there's like this one small like paint defect. Okay, cool, whatever. I'll plan on getting a carbon fiber hood at some point anyway. Um, the interior, like typical Dodge uh, products, would when the heat. It's on when it sits in the heat for too long, like the glue comes up in certain parts. In certain parts, like the center console, and then like the passenger window, like the window sill, like the glue is coming up. So it starts the, the door panel is like kind of coming off a little bit. So yeah, I mean, I mean it's cool. It's whatever. I can get that fixed in due time. I'm not really pressed about it. Take it to a good ship, have them glue it however they want to do it. But yeah, I get it fixed, and it's an all black interior, so it's not like I got to get like a certain one. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, it is what it is, but you know, your boy is heading to Enterprise finally to drop this truck off and to get in my Hellcat and be happy. You know what I'm saying? So that's all I'm I'm worried about right now. Is that I'm gonna be happy. I'm gonna play with it probably today, tomorrow, maybe. Then book my flight to go get my kids, bring them back to Hawaii for a bit, and we're gonna have fun together. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. We about to turn up this summer, bro. It's about to be game fucking on, man. You know what I'm saying? So, now I gotta start looking at stuff I'm gonna order for the car at some point. Like, you know, we'll go over that another day. That'll be another video, but yeah, i get back with y'all in a little bit. Once I get the Hellcat, drop the dude, uh, the dude back off at, uh, at the dealership and, you know, go take some pictures and have a little bit of fun. So, I'll catch y'all in a little bit. Peace. didn't get a chance to finish yesterday it started raining and i went out for a drive and stuff but you know here's the car you know what i'm saying for the most part stock it, yes it has a catch can and a breather and an iffy intake but it's still stock is not tuned as far as i know but this is the car itself you know what i mean um, right now i'm over at my buddy's place work work on his uh wife's dsm but 
on the front and stock, stock. And I got archery plate dogs on the rear, 315, 30, 20s. And that's pretty much it. Um, yeah. So, nothing special about the car. I mean, I did mention how there was some issues with the car, but it's like all cosmetic. Um, of course, I got the crew stick right there. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty beefy tire, meaty tire right there. Let's see, let's focus on it. But, yeah. Um, one of the issues I was telling you guys about was this right here. But, you know, that's typical of one of the Dodge cars. After a few years, after sitting in the heat for so long, the glue starts to peel up because it's doing the same thing on the dash as well. Well, the center console. But for the most part, like I said, this car is in stock, man. Um, I'm supposed to have a race tonight. We'll see. I'm supposed to be against another Hellcat. It's supposed to be, from what I know, or what I was told, it's full bolt-on, full bolt-on, pulley and tune. And as far as I know, 100% stock. So um, that's gonna be going down a little bit later today. And yeah, we're gonna see how that goes. I'm not a hundred I'm not really expecting to win because you know the difference in power or whatever, but you know sometimes it comes down just to the driver. And I see that right here, like that like starting to rust or whatever. But I mean at some point I plan on getting a carbon fiber hood. So but yeah, I got some uh some plants. I don't know if you can see it, but you can see the intake sitting right there through the hood vent. But yeah, man. Um, you know, I've had the car for just over 24 hours, and I've enjoyed it. I've pushed it a bit. I like it. Yeah, yeah, it could be faster, but I'm not really worried about that right now. Uh, I got some big plans for this thing. Right now, I'm trying to I'm trying to get a drag pack. Um, thing for me is trying to decide whether or not I'm gonna go with welds four star or vms um but i want to do a b-lock setup i know i'm gonna go with the 315 50 17 uh rears on the mickey thompson et street r's i already know that that's a that's already a given and then from there um i'm probably gonna do 18 by fives on the front uh I'm not really sure what tires i'm gonna run for the for the front runners but i'm definitely gonna do the et street r's on the rear and I'm looking for a B-Lot setup. I want to do welds, but I'm not trying to spend that kind of money on welds. Um, yeah, I mean, the exhaust already sounds good. So. What? It's my, one of my, my best friends right there. Um, I'm already talking to his tuner and his builder. Um, the setup that I plan on going with here, I don't know when. I don't have a time frame, but I'm looking at going changing the intake to JLT intake or maybe a leg maker, whichever one would be better, haven't decided yet. And pulley, underdrive pulley, tune. Um, I don't plan on doing E85 because we don't have E85 pumps out here. So I don't want to have to go through the house. So I always have to rely on somebody and meet up with them just to get E85. And then they charge the arm and the leg for it too. So not really trying to have my car be so reliant on E85 and fuel additives and stuff. So I'm trying to say strictly 92 pump out here so but you know but i'm gonna do a, a quick auto start and i'll show you guys how the car sounds how it sounds and as of right now we're currently sitting at uh 38,137 I'm putting a, put a few hundred miles on here since I've had it but um Hello. my homie's such an asshole I just want y'all to know that. It wasn't me. He's such an asshole. But yeah, we've sent a few hundred extra miles on the car as of today. Um, 
by the time I upload this video, probably gonna have a few more hundred miles. Maybe not, because I'm going to the mainland tomorrow, but I'll be back in like a week or so. And from there, I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, there's not really much going on with the car, still a stock Hellcat. So, so yeah, but we're gonna get ready here in a little bit, probably about 30 minutes or so, head over and get ready for this run. And uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. All right, so, so we made it to the spot. You know, you got my, my 2018 Hellcat versus his 2018 Hellcat. Um, yes, this is a 2018. He got an aftermarket wide body on it with a demon hood, uh, wide body wheels, the orange calipers. Um, pretty pretty nice looking, you know what I'm saying? It's pretty different too. You're not going to really see many Hellcats out here that look like that. He got his GoPro set up on the left side, so I can tell him to be in the left lane. Hopefully, I don't get a gap. But you know, but you didn't got my, my stock Hellcat for the most part, you know, just an intake or whatever. Um, I'm not really sure how this run is going to go, but hopefully it's interesting, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, he messaged me on Facebook, not Facebook, Instagram, about, you know, trying to set something up. So, so yeah, we're going to see how this run goes. So, uh, sorry I didn't get a chance to talk to the guy much after the races last night. Um, we only got two runs in uh, due to the fact that we got he got a little mixed up on uh, what I was telling him, where we are going to U-turn and come back and get to try and get a couple more runs in. Plus, he saw the cops on the other side of the freeway on the way back that we had to go anyway. So, we couldn't get the other, other two runs in. But if you look at the video, now the, the two videos from the races, you'll see in the first video, I feel like I jumped a little bit. I tried to time uh, his third horn, um, but I think I was almost right on it. If I jumped, it wasn't by much, but I got out. I jumped down in front of him by like half a car, it's like three quarters of a car, not much at all. And uh, I kind of I kind of like kept help but stay there for a minute. And then, you know, of course, there were some cars ahead of me, so I let out. So technically I would have won the first race, but in the second race, you see, um, we both jumped at the same time, but his top end carried him. So that's what his mods helped him in the second race. Um, my tires are better than his. I'm running uh, our triplet R's on the rear. He's still on the, uh, the Pirellis, the 305, 35, 35, 20 Pirellis. I'm on the 315, 30 R's triplet R's. So me hooking up from a roll wasn't as uh, much of a problem for me. But like I said, once he caught traction, that's where the, his mods came into play. But, um, you know, I mean, my first races are in the books against a, another cat. So that made me feel pretty good. This felt good for me, honestly, since my accident back in August of last year, wrecking my 392. This feels good to be back out and being able to race, man. That's all I really care about. Uh, whether I won or not wasn't really an issue because the car stopped, at least for now. You know what I'm saying? So, but now I'm heading home. Uh, I stayed at my buddy's place. I'm heading home. So, I'm go home, get my bags packed. So I'm getting ready to fly to the mainland. I'll be back next week. And once I get back next week, y'all already know what time it is, man. It's it's, it's go time. Uh, I'm gonna be looking to order in parts. I'm already looking at a drag pack. I'm looking at uh, performance development diff brace. And I'm working with uh, a tuner and builder, I guess you could say. We're trying to get this thing some more power. Um, he did the hookup. I'm not even really tripping, man. Just, we're going to figure it out. No different than how I, I deal with my Daytona. So it's, it's about to get real here soon. So until next time, peace.